Hey there, Susan Baker here sharing this with you on the morning of the Canadian Holistic Nutrition Conference award ceremony. Um, so they will announce the winners of different awards, including the Lifetime Achievement Award, which um, I know I shared with some of you that um, I received a nomination for, which was just a whole mix of emotions. So anyway, you know that I'm into personal reflection and <laughs> personal growth all the time. And I thought I would put words around what, put words around it and share this. Um, at the start of the year, I started to work with a personal growth coach, manifestation coach, actually, um, a woman named Evelina Hovich. And, uh, you know, really my high achieving personality and goals, I was like, oh, I just, I've got to get, I got to get some things done, you know, like I need to write my own book, Life, Love and Autism. I got to put all those stories into the, into a book, you know, and, um, and for Pete's sake, this blog is, is just on Facebook and, and I've had the website name for years and I need to move it to, to be a web platform so that, you know, it can reach more people and people can subscribe and whatever else. Right. And, and then book two is Andrew's book and then book three. And, you know, I, I just had all these goals and ambitions, right. And which is great. And then in our first session, you know, she planted a seed in me, which was, and for what? Like, what's the end goal with all that? How do you want to feel from all that? And it was, well, you know, accomplishment, like accomplished and purposeful and joy and happiness and all that stuff. She said, so when, when the book is written, is that when you'll feel that? And then what happens next? Then, then it's the next thing. And could it be possible that, you know, when, when is it, when is it enough? And um, it really was irritating, actually, because <laughs> I really wanted to get on with things. But I took those words and I really reflected. Anyway, I realized that I was really struggling with finding enough in the present moment. And even though I, you know, I post about it and, you know, find joy and happiness in the day to day and all that stuff. I mean, I, that really matters to me. It's, it's a value to me. It's obviously not something that I practice very easily. And so I really went to work on that. And there I was in the middle of a freaking lockdown at home full time with my kids, Andrew's EA, you know, 24 seven, basically. And, you know, and all of that is, is beautiful and wonderful, um, but it's pretty stripped down. And I thought, how can this be enough? How can this be enough? And so I had to practice it. You know, I would see the little things and find joy truly in those little things. You know, whether it would be a hike with Andrew in silence, whether it was standing on the shores of Lake Ontario in Scarborough at Scarborough Bluffs and listening to the water and then realizing I was hearing the words to my next blog post, right? And so, and then I realized as well, can I look at the present tasks that I have in front of me? You know, this, um, this invitation to be part of this motherhood collective book. Can I just do that? Can I write that chapter and have that be enough? And it was in that, in that moment of practicing all that, where I opened my email one day and saw that I'd been nominated for this lifetime achievement award. And I just laughed out loud and then cried because I was like, is that the universe? Is that God? Is that, you know, probably my higher self showing me it's enough just being in the present moment and doing what's in front of you is not only where the joy is or the accomplishment or the happiness but even the enoughness if that makes sense wind chimes present moment present moment joy <laughs> and so i'm sharing that with you because i mean Ideally, it doesn't take nomination for a Lifetime Achievement Award, and regardless of who wins what, right? It was, and it has been, just such an amazing opportunity for me to realize that, you know, when we do this next thing, and we experience the joy in that small or large accomplishment in the now, then we see the next thing that's in front of us, right? And then that goes to the next thing and the next thing, and that's hard for high achievers.
it's been an amazing opportunity to realize that practicing being in the present and finding enough in the present allows you to do just that, accomplish whatever that is, and then that leads you to the next thing, which leads you to the next thing, which leads you to the next thing, and it's all perfect and divine and enough. So just thought I would share that.